Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to introduce to you regarding about motor control system. In an ever-ending development technology in our daily life, or probably in our time right now, most of the modern machine that we are using, including heavy startup load, have driven independently by electrical or electric motors, either AC or DC motor. And some of the application that controlling, for example, a crane to lift, a workshop to move uh, or rotating in machinery, in paper and textile industry, even the cement factory, this application or op operation of that motors, even the number of the motors, are done by a pressing a push button. And a push button is one of the control that operates by starting, stopping, reversing the direction of the rotation, braking speed control, sequence starting, etc. Not only that, there are other different components that use in motor control system. Like for example, contactors, overload relay, timer switches, and other indicator device like lamps, bells, buzzer, etc. These control circuits are designed and fabricated and installed depending on the requirements of a driven load. Hello guys. Today, I will introduce to you or discuss to you regarding about a motor control system. And one of the example of uh, control system is across the line magnetic starter or we call it direct online but how we'll understand this this diagram and how these components and these devices are connected to each other how we understand to to proceed on this First thing that we have to, to know is the symbols or what we call language of control of all these components. Like for example, as you can see, we have, a, we have this one, or this one, that's it, all right? Now we have here, also with this, or this one, as you can see, Right. We have also button for that. So this is the button and the other one is this one. Let's see with this. This two, all right? Now there is a missing which is the what we call uh, circuit breaker. So we have here. Where's the circuit breaker? I'll show it to you. So this now the circuit breaker of that. Now how we will connect each one of this so that it will work together. by means of symbols. So we have to find out. Now let's continue. Now let's find out the symbols of each component that you are, or uh, that is shown to us. Okay. Let's start it with these devices. This is a what we call 
a push button all right now how you will know that this push button is different than this of course by means of color but how about if there is no color available sometimes it happens no of course important thing that we have to understand is to find out again what i said is the symbols now what is the symbols of this push button i will show you as you can see here this green push button there is a number which is uh three and four not only that there is also a letter which is n and o now what's the meaning of this okay there is also as the red push button there is a number as well which is one and two also there is a letter which is nc now what is no and what is nc all right what's the difference of these two push button of course obviously the letter they are different as well as the number but is that the main uh, information that we have to find out no we have to find out first the symbols of this okay let's go with it let let us you this one this is a what we call a push button as i said a while ago which has it what we call name and o okay let's start with push button all right let's get we'll start with push button push button okay push button for green one what is the symbols of that what's the meaning of no okay push button this is the symbols for push button which is normally open all right this is normally open so this is the symbols of that So this is push button normally open. All right. How about this one? This is a push button as well. All right. Normally close. So this is the symbols for the green one which is we have right now and also the symbols for the red one which is we have right now so the meaning of no no meaning normally open which is this one the other one which is nc that is normally close okay so we're finished already with the symbols for push button how about the lights which is red, a green, red, and yellow. What is the symbols of that? For example, since these are different uh, lights, but they have the same function. What's the function of this? To lighten, to give us uh, information. Okay? 
what is going on when the motor or when the electrical motor control system is energized. So let's start with the with these three lights, okay, or what we call indicator lamp. This is the symbols of that. Okay. Okay. So that's the symbols for this lamp, this tree. They are the same, no? The only difference between the two, the three, is only the color. Now let's move on. All right. Now how about this one? This is a contactor. As you can see in the contactor, guys, there is a what we call three terminal here. One, two, and three. And that terminal has a what we call information that we have to know. What's that? L1, L2, and L3. Not only that, there is also what we call a number. One, three, five. All right. There is also what we call 13 and 14, which is this one, plus. Oh, guys. We call it NO. Oh, we, we understand already what is the meaning of NO. NO meaning normally open. There is also 21 and 22, which is NC, which is normally closed. How about this one, A1 and A2? What's the meaning of that? Meaning that is the terminal for coil. And if you look below on this contactor, there is also number of that. 2, 4, and 6. Or we can find it as well, T1, T2, and T3. Now, what is the symbols of this? How we will understand each number and terminals, letters, for this diagram that we will do? Or, or what, this is the across the line, magnetic starter or direct online. So how we'll use it? How we will understand it? Of course, by means of symbols. All right. Now, regarding with this, I will write the symbols of that. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Now, how about the symbols for contactor? As you can see, class, as I mentioned a while ago, there are three terminals on the top, which is L1, all right? L1, L2, and L3. This one, no? Now, there is also a terminal, which is this one, T2, Hey, T1, T2, T3, or what we call 2, 4, 6. How about here? 1, 3, and 5. Now let's go with this, these symbols. So regarding about, okay, this is uh, indicator lump, call it indicator. Right. Okay. Now, how about this one? For this contactor. So as you can see, there are contact. One contact. Two contact and three contact. Okay. Now, is this the only the symbols for contactor? No. How will know that this is uh, contact? Of course, by means of numbers and letter. So that's the symbols. So we, this will be one call it one okay one three five two 
4 and 6 which is this one 1 3 and 5 2 4 and 6 another thing we call it also L1 okay L2 and L3 which is here L1 L2 again I repeat L1 L2 and L3 how about here there is also T1 T2 and T3 so let's write it there so this will be T1 T2 and T3 alright so this is the symbols of contactor how about others there are some numbers also here and also letters uh, let's look on this 13 and 14 which is combination of letter and O so let's look on that so when you say 13 this is also another contact okay another contact all right okay there is also another one contact which is 21 this one 21 and 22 as you can see 21 and 22 which is normally what do you call that normally close all right so this is normally open this is normally open okay we will write another one contact which is normally by the way this is the contact okay this is the contact all right this one is normally close they're still missing okay what is missing this one a1 all right a1 and a2 so this is a1 and a2 these are the terminals all right so let's start with that a1 okay can write it in a good way okay all right it's like this class better uh, I write it again so that you will understand easily okay so that's the one Okay. Okay, let's use this one. So this one is what we call holding coil or HC. When you say HC, holding, right? Holding coil. And this holding coil has two terminal which is one a1 and a2 so this is a1 now 
and this is the A2. That is the symbols of that. So we are already complete. Okay? So there is L1. Wait a minute. There is L1, L2, and L3, T1, T2, and T4, which is this one. L1, all right, L1, which is this one, okay, L1, this one, L2, this one, L3, that one. Same thing below, T1, T2, and T3, this is the one. T1, T2, and T3. I repeat. Sorry, the camera left already. Okay. Again, I will repeat. This is the L1, which is this one. Alright. L2, which is this one. And L3, which is that one. Now, regarding about T1, T2, and T3, this the symbols. T1, T2, and T3. How about 13 and 14, normally open? 13 and 14, normally open. So, this is the one. Normally open. 13 and 14. Okay. How about this? 21 and 22. Normally close. So this is 21. Alright. And this is 22. Holding coil which is A1 and A2. Here class. Oh, guys. A1 and A2. Alright? So we are ready to complete. How about the last one? This is what we call contactor. Okay? Magnetic. Alright. So this is magnetic contactor. Now how about this one class? This relay. Okay? Do we have a nice relay here? Yeah. So this don't want relay, alright? So this relay has same thing, number and letter. As you can see here, there is NO, alright? 98 and 97. 95 and 96, which is NC. Another thing, there is also T1, T2, and T3. How, how, what is the purpose of this? Okay, let's find out by means of determining the meaning of the letters and the numbers using symbols. Okay, let's go on that. So this is what we call thermal overload relay. All right. A thermal overload relay symbols of that is this one okay all right So thermal overload relay, that is the symbols for that. This one. One, two, and three, which is this one. Okay? I repeat. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Here. There is also T1, 
T2 and T3 or 2, 4, and 6. So let's continue. So this will be 2, 4, and 6, T1, T2, and T3. Alright? And how about these two? There is no, so normally open and normally closed. So let's continue with that. Same thing, we have a contact because these are all contact class. Oh, guys. No? Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot. When you say normally close, when you say normally close class, when you say, uh, guys, when you say normally close, it will be close. All right? Same thing here. If this is normally close, if this is normally close, and this will be normally open, so this will be like that. All right. Now, normally open, as you can see, there is a number, 98 and 97. So this will be 97, and this will be 98. There is another one, normally close, which is 95 and 96. So this will be 95, and this will be 96. So done. Already, no? Plus. Okay. This is for thermal overload relay. All right. That's the symbols for that. Okay. For circuit breaker. I, for uh, what you call that? Uh, contact core that we have. All right. Let's continue with that. Also for the lights that we have. Indicator lamp. Push button normally open. And push button normally close. So it's already complete. No? To make this diagram that I have. Where is it? This one class. Okay? So we'll do this one. Okay? Let's start it. Okay, let's continue with regards to circuit breaker. Alright, this is a secret circuit breaker, a single page secret circuit breaker. No? What's the symbols of this? The symbols for circuit breaker, guys, like this. Alright? One and two, which is this one. One and two. So that is the what we call circuit breaker. Okay. There is more. How about this one? These are all contact. As you can see here, right? There are numbers as well and also letters. So these are what we call contact or auxiliary contact. If we need contact or another contact, spare contact, uh, spare contact with our diagram no because sometimes we need the auxiliary contact so that it provide contact to the system all right so we know it already normally open normally close normally open same thing normally open uh, guys all right okay this is normally open normally close same thing that one so we call it contact okay these are all contact and how about this one the last one 
this what we call mushroom push button no when you press it it's already closed when you release it twist it it's open so the symbols for this the mushroom mushroom contact is like this this is normally close what we call emergency push button okay all right so this is what we call emergency push button normally close alright ok so we have already completed all the symbols of each component alright so what we will do we will connect it by this given schematic diagram which compose of symbols that tell us all components are being connected okay okay let's start with that by the way this what we call mushroom push button mushroom okay push button has what we call normally close and normally open contact so there is still uh, one missing contact here so we have to write it this is normally close so we'll have another one which is the normally open okay so that is the normally open oh i'm sorry i'm sorry by the way uh this mushroom push button okay there are two contacts no as i said when you press like this okay when you press like that that is normally close but when you twist that one that is already normally open so this is another one which is for normally open this is normally open contact okay now let's start with the combination of this contactor overload relay push button start and push button stop indicator lamp as well as the protection which is the circuit breaker now we will continue on that by connecting each of all these components okay which is for direct online magnetic starter 